welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 World Adventures. This is episode 27, and we are actually right now arriving in Egypt. Um, I started to record a part just a little while ago, but really nothing happened. The only major things that happened, um, Lucretia woke up in the middle of the night, found out that she was pregnant, and then Kevin sold some money bags. He had about 10,000 simoleons. And that was basically all that happened. <clears throat> But we went ahead and brought him over. I don't know where he is. He should be here. Uh, he's coming. And of course in Egypt it's the same just as France or China. You're just going to go over here and check for an adventure. Alright, we're going to try for our level one. He keeps wanting to garden and I can't get him to do that. Business abroad. Morky Corp is working on a business opportunity with the Egyptian government to find three ancient relics in Al Samara. The work will be dangerous, but quite profitable. Interested Sims should report to Fahad Madbuli for more information. This is the first chain of adventures you get when you come to Egypt. And just like in China, the first one is always your simplest one. There's really not much to it. Um, looking out, you can see the base camp. It's, all, it's only just uh, tents. It's a campground. It's the only base camp that does not provide you with a full working kitchen. So you don't get a stove here. <clears throat> All right. Now this one, it should be, um, there's a really nice storyline that goes on with this one, this whole Morky Corp deal. So that's kind of a, it's, hopefully it will flow in the same order it should. Um, in China, sometimes you get them in different orders, but I tend to get them in the same order whenever I come to Egypt. And I think that's just because of the storyline, it's driven by that. Okay, for some reason I'm getting a lot of lag today. <clears throat> I have no idea where he's going. It looks like he's running around in circles, but he's not. Alright. Ziba Du. Vibe. Uh huh? Okay, it is most excellent to see a fresh set of hands in Al Samara. I suggest you visit the market before you venture further to purchase a tent, some dried food, and a shower in a can so that you don't end up starved or smelly amongst the dunes. Here is some dried food. Awful tasting stuff, but it will keep you alive. I need you to take care of a small errand for me. I accidentally left some papers in a nearby tomb. Go to the Tomb of Discovery, find my papers, and bring them back to me. You will be compensated, then I will give you more exciting tasks. Alright. <laughs> this one is going to end up taking us right back where we started from. So if you look, <clears throat> this is actually the base camp right here, and the tomb is right next to it. So we basically just went. It's pretty nice, it's kind of like France in that it's real close. China seems to be a little bit more spread out, but this one Trust me, it does get very, very, very spread out, especially when we get to the pyramids. Alright, let's get a little bit closer. <clears throat> Are you going to go in a loop here? Okay. Alright, this is the entrance to the tomb. And it's really not anything impressive, you don't really notice anything. But there's just a staircase we're going to use. <coughs> if you happen to travel to Egypt first, then this would be the place that they would send you to, and it does the same thing as the other one in China. It's just going to show you what kinds of things you might see when you get down here. So of course you can read the plaque, but all it's going to tell you is make sure you have dry food, um, shower in a can, <coughs> Alright, there's our keystone. This one does not have a keystone, so obviously we have to unlock it some other way. And of course, it's just giving you the same type of feel. It's just all done in a different style. 
<clears throat> but you're just learning how to use how to go through the tubes. I don't think there's any hidden doors around here, but it is asking us for something. <laughs> All right. Pull it. Nothing too out of the ordinary so far. It's pretty much very straightforward. Just a basic one. There's no there's no threat here, so if you don't want to run into a mummy, don't worry, you're not gonna find one here. <coughs> Although there's more mummies here in Egypt than in any of the other countries, obviously. And that I think was even easier than the one in China. Now they're telling you here, of course, find a hidden door, so you know we've got one, and if you look at the wall, it's very obvious. <clears throat> okay, this is the, one of the collectibles we're going to be looking for here in Egypt. It's a canopic jar, and I believe there are either five or six. Alright, before we leave, we're going to open this door and find out what's inside. Which it should be, they don't call them... Um, symbols, they call them, I believe, sigils. So we're going to be looking for that one, and there's, I believe, 13 of them here in Egypt. There was only nine, I think, in China, so Egypt has the most to discover. Alright, more coins. And we still haven't gotten our level one, but maybe when we return... I think we do earn a level one at this point. <laughs> That's it. It's the Egyptian sigil of the Tomb of Discovery. And let's see. Yeah, there are 13 relics in it. So we've got the first one. All right, let's go ahead and deliver this in. So then that way he'll give us the next one. This is not the end. Oh, stop. Nope, nope, nope. I want you to go up the stairs. <clears throat> Normally on the way out, I think up here they do give you one more, one more bit of treasure that you can get. But since you didn't know where it went, you have to actually do it. All right, so open that one, and you can stand on the door. <coughs> and that was that locked door that we saw before, so it was just his exit. Again, just like everywhere else. Wow, there were nine of those. Sell those when we get back to some of the tides. Anyway, there's always a second way out. Now we can deliver the briefing. Yeah, that one I think is even easier than China's. It's so much quicker. It didn't give you any like the fire traps or anything like that. For, uh, so it didn't really show you some of the other stuff. But you're going to see them all, because they're all here. How far does he have to go? I don't think he's far, I don't think he's far at all. I really like Egypt, though. I would say that as far as the tombs go, it is absolutely my favorite of the three. There's one over here that's just, the first time I did it was infuriating, but it's fun. I like it now, but I had no idea what to do. It took me forever to figure it out. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and check in and see what we get, because I don't think this is quite the end of it. 
<clears throat> Sasume Bonita. Mm -hmm. Shibo Nibagi. Agent of Morky Corp. The tomb didn't kill you? Most excellent. It will take me some time to analyze these papers. Until then, Morky Corp has other tasks for you. Report to my lackey, Helmi Hosni. I don't fully trust this person, but one cannot choose their employees. I think they can. Do whatever is asked of you. All right. Let's go report in and see what we get. So we got 10 visa points. We still didn't earn our level 1 visa, which, based on that last tomb, we shouldn't have. It was not, it was not big enough. It was too simple. Okay, keep going. The canopic jars that we actually got, if you get all of them and you put them inside of a sarcophagus, it has to be the right type of sar sarcophagus, you can actually bring a mummy and bring them back to live in your household. So I tried it once and it didn't work. I think I did something wrong. So it's, it's something that I'd like to at least try it uh. towards the end. Uh. Barbel flaunts mana. Mm -hmm. Live so nor. Hey, Shubad? Gems of the Sand. My name is Helmi Hasni. Fahad Madhu Madhuli gave me all the hard jobs for this operation. Typical Morphe Corp work ethic. Gobble the easy profits and cower from trouble. Anyway, the boss didn't properly budget our operations for this quarter. Obviously, the locals expect to be paid. I need you to find four pieces of turquoise, which I can use instead of cash payment. You may find some near the pyramids across the river. I'd start there first. All right. <clears throat> Let me pause it so we don't lose all of our time. Please don't be like the assassin bugs. I don't see any over here. Now, if we don't find it, we'll try the relic shop. Just because I don't want to waste all my time. Here's one and two. So, yeah, we, at least we can find a couple. I'm going to go ahead and take it off pause because it's going to take him a while to get out here. And there's, of course, a nice little base camp, so if we wanted to stop and stay here and not come all the way back, it's a nice little place to go. <clears throat> okay, there's another one over here, and oh good, we don't have to buy anything, but we are going to spend our day traveling. So at least they all came out and spawned. I've been here before when it doesn't happen, and then you're waiting for a long time to get them. Alright, let's go catch up with him and see where he's at. That's the only bad thing is that you can only drive for a certain amount of time on these on these roads and then you have to get on the path and just run. So I'm going to speed him up because otherwise we'll be here for a while. Yeah. That is really nice. I don't think I've ever noticed the ship over here. I've noticed the ship wreck before, but I've never noticed that one. And I've played it so many times and I've never seen two boats on the ocean. I've only ever seen one. Not saying it doesn't happen, I just have never seen it. Alright, Kevin, let me catch up with where you are. Alright, and here I believe we're next to... So you can actually see the Sphinx over here, and it's really nice, it's really pretty. He's getting hungry, we're going to need to send him... I want him to go to the market. But I think he has to go to turn these in at the market anyway. So we'll just finish this last one up. I thought I saw a tent, so there must be another base camp around here. Or, yeah, there's a little camp here. And I believe there was a bathroom off to the side. Because when you get out here, it is it takes a long time to get back to these different places. Because it's very big. Still have no, I've got him on regular speed. I thought I had him sped up. Let's go ahead. Man, it's gonna take a while. You know what? He just may have to. Well, he's fine. I always start to panic a little bit too soon. Um, it's not like he's gonna starve to death yet. 
It's only when it goes into red that you really need to worry. Alright. Oh, that was only number three? I thought he already got three. Alright, Kevin. Get the last one. Okay, let's go ahead and deliver these gems. Hopefully that will take you back to the marketplace and we can get something to eat. I'm not sure. I think that ought to give us our level 1 visa, which is fine. If that does, then I think we go to 8 days versus 6, which is fine. You can see that this so far has not taken us a whole lot of time. You definitely want to get some type of transportation. You don't want to rely on the scooter that they give you. Otherwise, you're going to spend more time traveling. What kind of tree is that? Plum tree. Sable dab so tea. He'd probably get mad if I harvested it right here in front of him. All right, local intel. That turquoise will keep operations moving along nicely. Sending you to assist me is the best thing Morphe Corp has done in weeks. I hope you stick around. I have some personal concerns about the reputation of Morphe Corp. And I believe the local citizenry is growing hostile. I'd like you to get close to some of the other villagers and see what they think about this corporation. All right, so we have to discuss it with some Egyptians. It didn't say how many. <clears throat> it's three. All right, Kevin, let me get you something to eat here. We'll go to the market. I know you want to eat. You probably already did. Unless I canceled out fast enough. All right, this one's a little bit more, uh, it's got a little bit more space. Oops, didn't want to go that far down. All right, here I believe is your food register. Let's go ahead and get something to eat. We have a snake charming basket here, which we're definitely going to buy. That's a skill that you can learn. And <clears throat> there's some recipes here to buy, of course, just like the others. And some uh, fishing books, because I think you can get crocodiles here. Okay, now they do have a stereo over here, but you can't take it. So we can't take the one out of Egypt. It's only the one out of China that will actually let you take it. Alright, let's go on here, see what you can get for dinner. And then you can talk to whoever this is. Barbel, Webzy Nabla, Sasu Hawas, Lor Herbel, he's a vomajig, Radish. He did eat. Okay, oh that's something new. Alu masala curry. Let's go ahead and have that. <clears throat> All right, and while he's doing this, we could stay right here in the base camp. Or, I mean, go back to the base camp, and that would be fine, or we could stay here. The only difference is we don't have a shower over here. Actually, there's a bathroom, but not a shower. So I'll take him back to base camp and let him sleep there. When we come back, I'm going to use... There's four merchants in here, plus a special merchant, so we'll use those three, at least three of them, and we'll get the next part of this adventure done. He has earned 381 simoleons. Well, it still doesn't count for the $1,300 he spent traveling over here, but that's a, he's on his way. Yes, I do want to buy a Snake Charming Basket. Um, uh, I don't want to get rid of that one. I'll get rid of that one. Alright, what is this? Too spicy? Oh, that was from Supernatural, so that's why. Okay. I'm surprised it didn't show him. It probably did. We didn't... I didn't catch it, but it didn't show him with the flames coming out of his mouth. Alright, we're just going to sleep right here. Stop it. And I will go ahead and let him get some, get some rest. We'll get up in the morning, get cleaned up, and we'll go into the market and start trying to convince the locals. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, just to give you an idea where everything is, he just got up out of the tent. Um, in the base camp, you've got the bathrooms back here on the side with showers. And then you can see over here, this is where he's actually cooking. There's not a stove, so you can only get 
the free quick meals, which is fine. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. What did you make? Oh, it's a book. I guess that's not going to help. So I'm going to speed him up through this. I've got him set up. Of course, every time you're over here, something breaks. And Kevin broke, or he clogged up the toilet. That's not good. Alright, so I'll go ahead and let him speed up. <coughs> there is a fire pit, and then of course there's some tables over here that he can use to eat at. But that's it for the base camp. It's very simple, and you don't have to worry about going up and down stairs like you do over in China. Which is nice. <coughs> I don't think he'll clean up because I don't think there's a sink over here. Oh, no, there is. But he didn't clean up. All right, he just left. I've sent him over to the marketplace because now that he's got all of his needs taken care of, we can actually start working on convincing three locals. This one, I don't think you have to be real good friends. I think it just takes maybe three or four interactions with them, and then you're good. So it shouldn't take us all day. But the fact that we have to do three of them... That's uh, kind of a pain. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is. I don't know who that is. But why don't we just go ahead and introduce ourselves. Oh yeah, we do have um, the charisma skills. So, and with that and the lifetime reward, <clears throat> we might get a better relationship boost. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Yeah, so he didn't, Lord Doom, he actually had a little bit of a boost. Let's see if he can go ahead and convince him real quick. Barbel flaunts mana. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shubad? Oh, good, that worked perfect. All right, so we don't have to do a whole lot. We're going to go over to this lady right here since she's close. We'll introduce ourselves. And, oh yeah, that's a food merchant, so. While we're here, we could do some shopping, but I think we've got plenty of days. Come on, Kevin, speed it up. Once you introduce, I want you to ask her. Since she's here, we'll just do the same thing here. Uh-oh, romance. Oh, okay, that must be that attraction system. I'm not a big fan of those guys. When they laugh, it's really creepy. That's what the other guy said. Oh yeah, she's attracted to him. Well, I, I don't really care either way. I just wish they would stop digging all over the place and then leaving the holes. Alright. Introduce yourself and let's move on. <clears throat> Sasume Bonita. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shibo. Nibagi? Alright, we're gonna report in. While I don't really care either way, okay, she's asked, she says the same thing. He's collected enough information, it's time to report back to Helmi Hosni. Okay. Glad he's not, he doesn't have to go too far. He actually does. Wow. That was misleading. Really misleading. I thought it was right there. That's as far as you, you could have walked back. Alright. Come on, give us our level 1 visa. Let's see what I'm doing here. Z Bad Do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ushua. Into the fire. Ah, it is as I feared, but perhaps this will present an opportunity. Anyway, the documents have been ciphered and it's time to send you into the fire. Unfortunately for you, that is not a euphemism. Morky Corp is interested in a strain of flame fruits that grow in the tomb of the burning sands. I believe they plan to use it to help develop some kind of post-atomic propulsion drive. Use this key to enter the tomb and gather some of these fruits. It's bound to be hot in there, so you might want to bring some shower in a can. All right, let's go ahead and click on the arrow, go into the Tomb of the Burning Sands, see where it is. It's going to be not the big pyramid, but it's right next to it. These look really nice at night. I wish I would have looked at them last night when we were sleeping, but we'll do it again tonight. We'll probably still be there at night because it's already 2.30 in the afternoon. 
Alright, he did earn his level 1 visa. <clears throat> Let's see, he wants to go to the temple of Queen Hatshepsut? Hash I don't know how you say it. Um, we'll get there eventually, but that's not an early quest, or early adventure. Now, if you go into Buy the Bug and you want to actually put this pyramid in your town, you can. It's just a shell. I've done it a couple of times. It's pretty funny. It looked funny in Riverview. I just did it because there was so much room. I just wanted to see if it would work. But you can. Alright. Just like the Dragon's Maw, you should be able to inspect and get interest to this entrance into this one. <coughs> And I'm going to need to keep an eye on all of this. He wants to fully explore it. I don't think he's going to be able to fully explore because we only get part of it. But he is going to go inside. Since I used a lot of his lifetime reward points, I definitely want to make sure that I start picking up some more. Alright. And here we are. We're going to go ahead and insert the keystone. Now there's a lot of stuff we're going to do over here, and it's not part of the adventure, but since we're here, we're going to do it. Let's see how many days we got. <clears throat> oh, we still got, we got plenty of time. We're on day two of six, so we're good. All right. There's a trap here. Um, we can go ahead and explore this first. It reeks of sulfur, and there's a, a suspicious heat emanating from within. Hopefully Kevin is prepared. Yoink. So that means there's going to be a lot of fire traps. I don't know that he actually gets to this side. He's reached the bottom. Yeah. It's a serene orchestra of colors and shapes down here. He's looking around. So we actually have to do something here. Let's try to cross it. You want to find a hidden door? No, did I even look? Mm -hmm. I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. ah. Alright, while we're here, let's go ahead and clear this rubble. We can't get in that. <clears throat> and I don't see anywhere where there's a hidden door. Doesn't mean there isn't one, just means I don't see it. Let's go ahead and explore. I thought I looked at all of this, maybe not as carefully as I should have. I really have to be careful in Egypt because these can get kind of tricky. They're not hard. None of them are really that hard. But just like you saw in China, I can I can know they're there and still set off the traps really easily. Okay, he's reached the bottom. That's how we get in there. We found our hidden switch. If I'm not mistaken, there is a mummy somewhere in this tomb, and we hit it pretty quick. So that's why you definitely want to make sure when you get here, you have your skills up. Is there anything to collect over here? There's your hidden door. For some reason, I think we're going, it seems like we're going through the exit, but maybe not. All right, here's some flame fruit right here, and once you've actually seen this, now you can come back anytime if you want to get some. Um, problem is, they didn't all harvest yet. But there's more. There's a couple of other places that we go through. We're going to push this ahead and get rid of that trap. Alright, Kevin, how many did you get? None yet? Come on. There's some on there. He got two. Alright, so we'll keep going and see if we can't find the other two. I think they're a little bit further down. Regardless, we still just need to get through here. Alright, stop. eye on these walls. Doesn't look like anything there, so let's go ahead and push this. <clears throat> I'm 
we have almost we have ten thousand three hundred and seventy seven ancient coins, so we got quite a bit. Alright. Push it so you can get through. Alright, there's nothing on this floor. Please don't move, but we can clear this. If you didn't have the tool, you'd be sitting here for a while and clearing this huge pile. We should be getting close to that... Maybe we already have that reward where we, um, we can clear piles quicker. Alright, that's just more pushable statue fragments. Let's go clear that. See what we get. More ancient coins. Oh. Mm -hmm. Stand on this and see what happens. I believe it opens a door. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's our easy exit. Okay, so the only thing we can do now is explore the dive well. So it looks like we got through the rest of this. Oh wait, stop. I need better. Let's go inspect this because I don't know that I'm going to be coming back. Hmm. Hmm. So there's just something in this little room. It may not be much, but if I don't do it now, I will not come back. I'll forget about it. chest. Be something good. Come on. Be something we need. Ah, uh, the sarcophagus fragment. Okay. It's not really something we need, but we'll take it. He can't fully explore this tomb. I don't, I don't know. Do we fully explore this one? I'll lock it in just in case. Okay, it's reached the bottom. It's covered with a thick layer of algae. Searching through the slime. Ah, uh, yeah, swim through the tunnel. Alright. Let's see. I think only one can be moved. Actually, two can be moved. So we're going to go ahead and make sure there's nothing on the floor. And let's go ahead and pull this one. I believe these walls, there's got to be a door. Yeah, there's a door here. Is there anything on that side? No. Anything on this side? No. And of course that door is going to get unlocked eventually. Alright. This one doesn't move, that one doesn't move. Hmm. Is that one? That's the only one that moves? Okay, can we cross that? a little bit, and then slide it over. <clears throat> uh, push it one more time. Then you're going to push it really far. I love these. You can get them if you go into the cheat menu when you go into build and buy mode and put them in your house. I don't ever do it, but I like them. Alright, keep going, keep going. I love the detail that they put on this. Okay, stop. You don't have to go that far. Pull this one back. <coughs> Now some of these tombs you have to wait until you get the adventure to go into them. But there's a few of them, especially one here, that you... I don't know that you ever actually get the adventure, you just have to do it on your own. 
and it actually gives you one of the best rewards. Okay, what in the world? Oh, we got to stand on it. So let's say we don't have anything else to push. Okay, that unlocked the door, but I want to go through this wall first. So that was the only thing that I had left in here, I believe, was that wall. So nothing over here needs to be worried about. <coughs> But yeah, these will be kind of cool when Seasons comes out. Put them on your front porch for Halloween. Just make it look a little scarier. I don't know. Is it not going to open? Oh. oh, he's getting really hungry. I should just go ahead and make him eat something now. He's got plenty. Let's see what... stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and explore this one. And he still needs to go over there and he can inspect that wall. See where this takes us. Our good Torga! Alright. He's reached the bottom, can't see the pitch dark depths. Feeling around the area, and that opens the door. Okay, let's go ahead and just open that. Yeah, I know you're tired. There's nothing else to find over here, so we're good, unless that activates another hidden door. <coughs> okay, more dive well fragments. Not really anything I wanted. That's okay. Alright, well, I don't know how long this episode has been. I know it's been pretty long, but what I'm going to do is bring him back over here. I'm going to let him sleep right here in the tomb, and when we get up, uh, we'll go ahead and continue up with the next part of this one. Let's go to sleep. And so I'll save the, the next part of this tomb for the next episode, and we'll finish up the Tomb of the Burning Sands. Hopefully we will get our other three flame fruits, otherwise we'll have to go back to the very beginning and see if they harvest on the next day or so. So, thank you all for watching. I will see you then on episode 28. See you later.